All right, so we have programmed our machine, we have made our drinks, we've froth some milk, and you're probably thinking, well, that was easy, but is there anything I should be thinking about when I'm operating this machine? And the short answer is yes. So one of the great things about the Cadorna series is that they've got a color display that uses a great set of alert icons that will tell you when the machine needs your attention for something. So we've got a little montage that will show you of the most common ones, but they include things like, say, refilling the reservoir because it's empty, if the bean hopper runs out, if you need to uh, empty the dreg drawer, the brew unit's not in properly, all those things are displayed on the screen and it's very straightforward as to what specifically you need to do. Now, let's take a look though at some of the things that we can take out of the machine. We've obviously put water and beans into it and coffee has ended up on the inside. So, the dreg drawer is right here on the right and we simply pull that out and you can see we've got some pucks. This is our brewed coffee now. It's been dispensed into here. And if your machine is brand new, you may find that the first few pucks that you've made are not as cohesive as the grinder and the adapting system learns your coffee, you'll start getting more cohesive pucks that are just easier to get rid of. And so with the dreg drawer out, we can actually open the access door on the side. So this gets us to the brew unit. Now, this is where your coffee is actually brewed. So we grind up here and it gets dispensed into the group. This is where it's compacted into a puck and actually brewed for espresso. So one of the great things about the Cadorna series, actually we have a nice catch tray here that goes under the group. It's not uncommon for you to see some stray grinds or water on the inside of this as a byproduct of brewing. We pull this out and the tray has those caught in there. And so with that removed, we can actually remove the brew unit itself. Now, that's as simple as simply pushing here, give it a firm squeeze, and you can slide it out. So you can see there's these two corners here. They line up with these tracks. That makes it very easy to remove the group. And now, one of the things that you'll want to do on a weekly basis is remove the group, and then you can rinse off the ground coffee that gets deposited on different parts, commonly things like the ramp here where your puck ejects from, and the shower screen, as I had shown and right here as well. This is also a good time to show you that these inner tracks here, where you have sliding mechanisms, that's where you're going to be lubricating the unit. So I'll set that down for a second so I can clean my hands for a moment. And you're going to use that included tube of brew group lubricant. Now, let's say, all right, oh, I've run out. We actually carry brew group maintenance kits from Gaja as well. These not only include a new tube of the lubricant, but also a pipe cleaner, and you can get replacement gaskets. So this is sort of like a nice silicone rubberized gasket here, right? This can dry out over time, just like any kind of wear and tear part. These gaskets will help you get a great seal for full pressure for your espresso. So something to keep in mind. Now we'll put things back together. The trick here really is to just line up these corners with these tracks. So you'll have to forgive me, I'm coming in at a bit of an odd angle here and I don't want my head to get in front of the camera, but give that a firm push, we're good. And then all we need to do is put the catch tray back in, close the door, and if I was responsible, I would empty these pucks out, but we're doing a video. Now, one thing that the machine is not going to alert you to though, at least not via the menu, is going to be your drip tray. Now, take it from me, you do not want to let this get too full. You will spill water all over your kitchen. It's gonna be like a waterfall on your countertop and we want a coffee shop on your countertop. So, here's how the machine lets you know that it's time to empty the drip tray. We're gonna pour a little bit of water in here, or maybe a lot bit of water, and you'll start to see that red float bobbing in the tray. When you see it elevated above the steel here, you're gonna wanna consider emptying this out. So my recommendation would be anytime that you have to refill your reservoir or that you have to empty your dreg drawer, you should also just empty the drip tray as well. And one of the things that I wanna show you too is to actually do that, there are little tabs here, we'll pull this out, but sometimes there can be just a little bit of friction when you're pulling in this, and if you jostle it out, that water is gonna shake. And if there's too much water, you're in for a bad time. So empty your tray out with regularity and you can avoid any kind of kitchen catastrophe. But other than that, the Gaja Cadorna Prestige will let you know anything else that it needs throughout the course of its lifespan. And I have 
complete confidence that you'll be able to handle anything this machine needs from you. And that's a wrap on the Gaja Cadorna series. Again, these are some of my favorite super automatic espresso machines. They're an incredible value, and I'd be happy to have any of them at home on my countertop. And of course, if you have any more questions about the Cadornas or any of our products, definitely give us a call. Contact us at Whole Latte Love. We are more than happy to help you brew better espresso at home. I'm Nick. Thank you so much for watching.